Pray for everybody. If you got your Bible, let me pray you real quick. We thank you, Father God, for the message, Lord, that you prepared for your people, Father God, for they are not here by chance, God, but for a divine appointment, God. We ask, God, that you give me the anointing for powerful ministry, Father God. May they see you and keep their eyes on you and not me, Father God, for I am just a vessel worthy of you, God. I give you all the glory, the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Amen. 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 If you got your Bible, go with me to the book of Proverbs, and if you can, stand up for the reading of God's Word. Thank you. anointing already. Ooh. Ah. Book of Proverbs chapter 6. Chapter 6. When everybody gets to cha Proverbs chapter 6, say amen. 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 I'm not going to give you the verse yet because I, I don't want you to start reading without me. Amen. Proverbs, it's in the very front and uh, that's the Amen. Old Testament. The Old Testament. Proverbs, and then you go into something. Book of Proverbs. Let me Amen. wait for a few. Chapter 6. Chapter 6. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. God bless you all on YouTube. We thank you for tuning in. May the Lord bless you and be there at your house, exactly where you are at. In Jesus' yes. mighty name. Yes. Proverbs chapter 6, verse number 30. <coughs> there we go. Men do not despise a thief. If he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold he shall give all that the substance of his house in the mighty name of Jesus we may be seated amen and amen a thief now we all know who is a thief amen for he comes to steal kill and to destroy amen the name of my teaching this morning is called operation Search and Rescue. Operation Search and Rescue. Go with me to the book of Luke. I'm going to dive right in. The book of Luke. Amen. Chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. Verse number 4. When y'all when y'all are there, if y'all can please say amen. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father. Help me, Holy Spirit. Here we go. Jesus my name. Amen. Verse number 4. There we go. Luke chapter 15, verse number 4. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he has found it, he laying it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, though likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner, that repents more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Let me stop right there. Amen. 
Do you know how special you are to the Lord? Amen. The Lord, we read in, in John 10, maybe 11, you don't got to go there, but John 10, He is a good shepherd. The Lord Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. He leaves the 99 to go after that one that was lost. If you have accepted Jesus Christ in your life as Lord and Savior, and it's not hard, it's in the book of Romans. If you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. Amen. It's called salvation. It's not mastery or trickery or nothing. It's You don't got to do 20 push-ups. You don't got to do squats. All you got to do is believe in your heart. And confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord Amen. and He is your Savior. Amen. You have been saved Amen. through faith, through grace, and not by works. Amen? Amen. But let's say that you're in the 100, in the 100 flock, and something happens in your life. Something happened in your life. Dramatic. Dramatic, where I say, uh, you, you start going a different direction. You start going into the wilderness, and we know what the wilderness is. It's more into the world system instead of into the kingdom. You know God. You've accepted God. You love God. But something happened in your life that you just say, hey, let me go this way. I had more friends over here than I had over here. I had more fun over here than what I had over here. Let me go this direction to the world system. Well, guess what happens? If you accept that Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, He leaves the 99 and He goes after you. The, um, that's the reason why the shepherd, the shepherd's got a staff that he carries with him. And, and, uh, the pastor here gave a study about two weeks ago about, about how he uses the staff to break your legs and put you on his, his neck to carry you, to try to keep you from running away, to try to keep you from getting lost again. That's what, he, what the Lord does. He leaves the 99 and goes after that one. Once again, the name of the teacher is called Operation Lost and Found. Amen. For I once was lost and now I'm found. Hallelujah. I was watching this show and there was something a man said in this show that it, I stopped it and rewinded. It. I stopped it and rewinded. It. I kept on stopping it and rewinding because of what he said. While I was working on this teaching, he said, I was always mad. I was always frustrated. <clears throat> and you know why? Because I was lost. Amen. I was always mad. I was always frustrated. I was always miserable, maybe angry, because I was lost. And then they looked at him and she looked at him and said, well, since I've met you, I've never seen you get mad, never seen you get upset. The man said, well, what happens when something is lost? It gets found. I found myself. I found myself. Thank you, Lord. And when you find yourself, when God finds you, now there's purpose in your life. Lord. What's the point of always being mad and upset and lost? You're, you're lost in your mind. You're lost in your relationships. You're lost. And the man said, I stopped looking. Once I found myself, I stopped looking. Because lots of us were looking for something else besides Jesus Christ. We're looking for a car that might make you more happy. You're looking for a house that might make you maybe happier. You're looking for another partner, 
a woman or a man that might bring you more joy. Amen. Or not just that, you're jumping from church to church to church because wow. you're trying to find something, but you're looking in the wrong place. Hallelujah. Amen. You're looking in the wrong place. You got to keep your eyes on Jesus, and yeah. Jesus keeps Amen. his eyes on you. Once, I'm, I'm, this is what I do, church, all the time, every time, every Sunday morning I pray, and I ask God, I ask God, help me keep my eyes on you. Amen. Just like Peter, he told him, step out of the boat and follow me. Peter started walking in the supernatural. He started walking in the water when he kept his eyes on Jesus. But once he took his eyes off of Jesus and started looking at the worship team, he started looking at this, or he started looking at that, he started looking at the church, he started, no, no, no. It's about your relationship with Jesus. Amen. Not on apostles, bishops, pastors. you got to keep your, we are men, and we are used by God. Glory to God that we are being used by the Lord. But you got to keep your eyes on Jesus. We give the honor to where the honor is due. That's the men of God, the women of God. But we keep our eyes on Jesus. Amen. And when you keep your eyes on Jesus, you're not lost. Yes. You work for Jesus. Your job is for Jesus. Yes. If you volunteer, you volunteer for Jesus. Yes. The things that you do, you do unto the Lord. It says it throughout the whole Bible. You feed the hungry. When you fed the hungry, you fed me. Amen. When you did unto the poor, you gave unto me. When you Amen. visited me in jail, he says, you visited me. You visited Jesus. You're doing it unto Jesus. Amen. You're looking for everything else when it's right in front of you. Amen. Jesus. I once was lost but now I'm found. And like I was saying, the shepherd leaves a 99 and goes after that one that straight away is straight away. You once were on a good path following Jesus, following peace, the Prince of Peace. You were once following the one that would give you peace of mind, the one that would bless you, the one that would lift you up. Yay, men and women will leave you, but Jesus stays closer than a brother. That's what the Word of God says. And if you believe that, that is the gospel. That is the truth. He sticks closer to you than a brother, which means he stays real close. But people will let you down. you got to stay closer to Jesus. Amen? Amen. When you find Jesus, everything else falls into place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, First Lord. seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Everything else will be added unto you. Amen. That's the way it works. That's the seek. It's not even a secret. It's right here. It's gospel. Amen. It's gospel. But you're looking for something else to fulfill you. There's a void that you're trying to fill. Maybe another woman might do it. Maybe another man might do it. Maybe another job might do it. Maybe more of this, maybe more of that. No. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Amen. If I have Amen. Jesus, I've got all the joy in the world. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord wakes you up happy. The joy of the Lord lets you go to sleep in perfect peace. The joy of the Lord, God, He is your Savior and your salvation. But He goes after you. He will not leave you. And then once he finds you, guess what he does? He throws a party. He calls his friends and he throws a party. Hey, I found my lost sheep. I found them. Now he's back in the flock. Amen. 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 It was lost. You rejoice. Amen. Let's say that you got five kids, right? One of them goes to college. You got four at the house. When that one comes home, oh my God, let's barbecue. Amen. Oh my God, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a party. Why? Because you got the whole family together again. Amen. You're part of the family. If you are here this morning, it's for a reason. You're part of the family. You accepted Amen. Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Jesus doesn't want to lose not even one of us. 
Amen. We are small, guys. The world is going into destruction. You see them. You see them. It's like, oh my God, it just the things I've seen, it, it just don't make sense to me. But it's the world system. We got, this is what the Lord was showing me this past week. All these men that went through a divorce or through a separation and they committed suicide. And why? Why? Because they were lost. They were lost and they thought that woman would fulfill them. And while she's gone, they killed themselves. No. Seek Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Make Jesus Amen. your Savior. Make Jesus your husband. Make Amen. Jesus your wife. Make Amen. Jesus all that you need him to be and you will be complete. Amen. You will be a complete person. Amen? Amen. Go with me to the book of... We're on Luke, but go with me to verse number 8. So that sheep... That... That one sheep that walked away from the flock, what it lost, it lost its covering and it lost its protection. Why is that? Because the shepherd protects the sheep. When the wolves, they try to come, the shepherd beats the wolves off. It, it's, uh, when I did my research with this, the shepherds, they carry a saint and oil with them and if if you see the shepherd they get the oil and they put it on the neck of their sheep they rub it on their head and they rub it on their neck so I was like why do they do that why do they put the oil on the sheep's the shepherd guys this isn't Jerusalem this is throughout the earth they put the oil on the sheep's neck on their head. So I, I, I like did my research and said, why do they do that? He, he said, because sheep, they tend to put their head in through a crevice, a rock, and they get stuck. Mm -hmm. And lots of times, the oil that they put on the head, it's snake repellent. The anointing, it's a snake repellent. And they put it on a, uh, they get stuck. They get stuck between the rocks. They tend to put their head through their neck in between cracks and the crevices of rocks when they're walking through the wilderness, when they're walking through cliffs, Amen. and they get stuck. So they put the oil on their head to repel the snakes and to pop out of that hole. They don't get stuck. Ain't that like our Lord Amen. that gives us a anointing to repel the snakes away from us Amen. so that we will not get stuck in cracks or get stuck in us a mindset that is just not good for us the anointing but he goes back for the one that's lost and left the fold he goes and he gets it back what belongs to Jesus belongs to Jesus Amen. 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 If you belong to the kingdom, you belong to the kingdom. Amen. The sister was, um, it was a great Bible study that she gave. Before we were Gentile dogs. That's what they would call us, Gentile dogs. Amen. But then you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You, go, you move from a Gentile dog to a child of the Most High Amen. God. Amen, hallelujah. You become a child of the Most High God. Amen. Shame is washed away. Your past is walked away. You're a new creation in Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. Yes. You walk in victory. Okay. You walk. You walked in victory. Amen. 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 Verse number eight in Luke. Luke chapter fifteen, verse number eight. There we go. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, does not light a candle and sweep the house 
and seek diligently till she find it. And when she has found it, she calls her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for what I have found, the peace of which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that Amen. repents. Amen. They are rejoicing for you when you repent. <clears throat> They're praying for you. People are praying for you that you make it through. You read your Bible. The Bible says that lots of them died along the way. The way is the road that you're taking. That is the way. When they were trying to get from maybe Egypt to the promised land, they should have gotten there in <coughs> four days. It took them 40 years to get there. And lots of them were murmuring, crying, not believing, and lots of them died before they got to their promised land. Along the way, along the way, as you're getting to your promised land, you need to remember, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep, this is, the Bible is a spiritual book. It's a spiritual book. It's never going to finish. It's never going to stop. The book of Acts doesn't stop. If you read it, it looks like if it just stopped there. It doesn't. It continues on to this day, the book of Acts. We're still in the Bible. Amen. Terms. Make sure that you don't die along the way. Repent for your sins. You ask God to forgive you. Amen. You ask God to cleanse you and to make you white as snow. And to give you a new mindset. Amen. Because that's usually what gets <clears throat> the people, the mindset. You're doing so good. And then you say, you remember those days. You remember those days. Don't act like if you don't, but I'll just drink one. Casually, casually, just casual. And then one turns into five. <clears throat> and then five turns into ten by the time you know what you're loaded. Amen. Oh, just one little dab of this drug. It's not going to do me nothing. And there you go. And message you up. And then guess what happens? Oh, please, God, don't let me die tonight, God. Please, God. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. And then what happens? Two weeks later, you're doing good. There you go again. Hey, how do I know? Because years ago, that was me. How do I know? Because that was my life. I was raised. Not in church, but I remember one day when nothing was doing it for me no more. Nothing, nothing. Friends, money, women, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I gave my life to God and I fell on my knees and I cried and I asked God, God, if you are for real from all these people telling you about Jesus, God, I don't know you, but I want to know you. He came into my life. And that was over 20 years, 25, yeah, 20-something 20, 20 years ago. But I'm never going to forget because I was on a road to destruction. I was on a road to destruction. My next pit stop was death and then hell. That was it. That was my next stop. Death and the pit of hell. See you later. But through the mercy and the grace of God, he saved me. Amen. He cleansed me. Amen. He made me what? And don't get me wrong, it has not been a straight line. Along the way, he has still spanked me. He has still, hey, get it together. Hey, stop that. Amen. There goes a 99. There goes that one trying to stray away, right? Trying to go, hey, nah, 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 nah. where are you going? Get back over here. Hey, that's it, man. There's no playing with God. 
You can't be in church tonight and then be at the club at night. It just don't work like that. You're going to go through hell. Amen. But this lady, the first one, the sheep lost its covering and it lost its protection. Because once you're, you come into the fold of God, God protects you. He protects you. He's your covering. This woman lost her money, her talent. She lost her coins. She had ten, right? She lost one. She lit a candle, she swept up the house to try to find what she lost. So I tell you today, keep on sweeping. Amen. Keep on sweeping. Get back what you lost. Amen. And just like I started the message in the book of Proverbs, the thief must return back to you seven times more Woo. what he stole from you. Amen. 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 If he stole your standing in the community, he must return it sevenfold. Amen. What does that mean, my standing in the community? It means your respect in the community. Oh, I remember that guy. He uh, used to run a business. He, he was doing this on television. He was do But the dude went through a divorce, and now he's a uh, drunk. He lost all his money. He, he lost his standing in the community. Yes lost your standing in the community. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Oh, I remember that woman. Wasn't she a doctor or a nurse? But now look at her. She's dancing over there at the... Whatever. <laughs> she lost her standing in the community. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Wasn't that that beautiful family that they used to always be barbecuing and laughing? Now look at them. They're all separated. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. Wasn't that lady, that, that teacher, that now she's a nut job? <laughs> he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But guess what? The thief must return back to you. Seven fold of everything you have lost. Amen. Amen. Thank you, what Lord. was your money, <clears throat> your protection, and your cover? Come on, come on. Amen. She swept the house, and once she found it, she called her friends together. Another party. Another party, right? We just read how the shepherd found his one lost sheep. He called his friends together. To rejoice over that one sheep that was lost. Let's throw a party. He's back in the family. He's back in the fold. Let's throw a party. I found my money. My money was lost. Now I found it. Amen. Go with me to verse number 11. Verse number 11. Amen. Here we go. And he said... A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days, let me stop right there. Let me stop right there. He had two sons, and he told his father, Hey, give me the portion of goods that belongs to me, Father. He's actually trying to say, hey, I want you to die so I can take your stuff for it. You're standing in my way. You're standing in my way from me getting what belongs to me. I don't need my father. I just need his money. This is what the kid did. A certain man. Let me read that again. Yes. Verse number 11. Verse number 12. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. And he divided unto them his living. You know that there's a portion of goods that comes to every person? Amen. It's called your inheritance. Amen. 
there's a portion of good that comes to every person, and especially if you're a child of God. Amen. Because guess what? Jesus Christ owns it all. And when you become a child of God, oh my God, you just don't know. You Amen. just don't realize it. Amen. I was just talking to my son just this morning. I said, hey, let's go and sow into the kingdom. That's what we're doing. We're sowing into the kingdom. We like to donate. We go. We feed the hungry. We do all these little things, volunteer, because I'm trying to teach him what it is to give back. Amen. Not just Amen. to take and Amen. take and take. Puro asadon, right? That's like a rake, right? It's just like raking. No, no, you got to give a little back. Come on. <laughs> but, but society, society is teaching our young people totally different. Mm -hmm. Each man for himself. Yeah. That's it. Each man for himself. Each woman for herself. Get it while you can get it. Mm -hmm. Take it. That's what they're teaching them. Yeah. Narcissism, it's all about me. Yeah. Oh, look at me. It's all about me. Instead of saving up for college, oh no. I got to go buy these rims to make my whip look nice. Hey, that's the younger generation. Guess what? I was like that when I was young. But once again, I wasn't raised in church. I was raised by my father, the devil. Hey, let me say it like that. Hey, that's the truth. Yeah. The world was my father. The streets were my family. Yeah. But once I learned the truth, no, 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 we got to save it. Save up. You work, feast, or there's famine. That's come it. On, but, with, but while there's feast, be smart with your money. Okay, just because you got it. Oh, hey, man, look, uh, we're already in November. I bet you there's people already... Getting a plan. I'm going to get this much money for the income tax. I'm going to claim this kid, that kid, that kid. Oh, they should be. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, 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 and then they start fighting over kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm going to claim that one. Oh, no. Hey. That's just the way it is. Society. And then guess what? They get a $6,000 check. They've never seen that much money in their life, I guess. <laughs> Oh, they're at Walmart. You should see Walmart, man. Every other cart is a television. They already got like 10 of them, but no, oh no, they got to have something bigger. That's the Gentile dogs, I'm sorry to say it. <laughs> hey, I'm not making fun of them because I was one of the Gentile dogs. It's, their mind is not in college. Let me save up for my college. Let me save up for a rainy day. Let me save up for things around the house that got to get fixed. Let me save up for what if. You never know. But that's the way the world works. Amen. You know that there's people praying for that? For, hey, the Egyptians, they still need their slaves. You know that, right? That book never stopped. The Egyptians, Pharaoh still needs slaves. And if I keep them in slavery, in their mind, guess what? They're going to spend all the money they made all week long, and they're going to come right back to work for me. That's right. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. They're still Pharaohs. They're still devils. They're still, it's all still there. It's all still there. If you ask God to open up the eyes of your understanding, He will and He will show you. Amen. This book never stopped. <clears throat> they still sacrifice to Molech. They still sacrifice to Balaam. Amen. They still sacrifice to the spirit of Baal. Amen. There is still the spirit of Jezebel running around like crazy throughout this Amen. world. It never stopped. Amen. Amen. But Pharaoh still needs slaves. But you need to remember that God made you more than a conqueror through Him. Amen. Amen. You are supposed to be living the abundant life, not the needy life. Amen. 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 Come on. My, my children, I have not seen the righteous forsaken or my children begging for bread. Amen. But we walk around because we got to be smarter. 
we got to be smarter. Knowledge is power, guys. Knowledge yes. is power. That's what I teach my children. I said, knowledge is power. The more you learn, the more you earn. You use your mind. Your mind is a weapon. Your mind is the strongest thing that God gave you. It's like the computer, they always change it and they change the computer. Is that right? Amen. They make it better and better and better. But guess what happens if you got a nice computer and then you get viruses? You get the mal you get all these viruses inside your mind. The computer breaks down. Amen. Right? And then you gotta take it and spend more money to get it fixed. Remove all these viruses from them. That's what we do when we come to the word to Christ to church. That's when we come when we receive the word of God. He cleanses our viruses. He removes the sickness. He removes all this, these bad things that try to attack you. Amen. Because the word of God says he brings bring every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Amen. So these thoughts that come towards me, they got to be obedient to Christ. Amen. If they don't belong to me, they don't belong to me. But that's the reason why we come to God. Amen. Amen. So he had two sons, this one son. Let's move on to the next verse. Verse number 13. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance Amen. with riotous living. Riotous living. So the dad gave him his money. He said, there you go, son. There you go. It, it, that sounds a lot like the lottery to me. With people that win the lottery. They, they win the lottery 